excited because these products are supposed to suck. Today, well, not today. That was a lie. I'm sorry, I lied to you. Let me start again. Hi. So, the other day, I was like, I always try and test Amazon's best or handiest or whatever. I try and get, what, you're so far away. I always try and get products that are really great because like, I test them so you don't have to. I test the products to see if they're actually decent, so if they are, you can get them. But I was like, screw it. Most of the products I test suck. So why don't we just find the suckiest ones we possibly can? So I went on Amazon and I searched for hours because Amazon's not gonna show you the worst rated products. That would be stupid of them business-wise. So I just had to go through pages and pages of things and I found some of the worst rated kitchen gadgets. So that's what we're gonna try today. It's gonna be a miracle if something works. So instead of getting mad when something doesn't work, we're gonna get excited when something does. Change your viewpoint, change your perspective. All right, let's do this. Happy pride. I went and got a lemon. And so what we're gonna test, I feel like I've tested this already, but I feel like I tested it when it was supposed to be highly rated. Maybe people have like figured out that it sucks now, I don't know. But it's the little spritzers you put inside a lemon or a lime and you just immediately turn that lime or lemon into like, a spray bottle of lemon and juice and lime juice. Does that make sense? I'm having trouble opening this. I'm shaky. I didn't even drink that much coffee. All right. Okay, so the instructions say you just cut the tip off the lemon, then you stick it in. Okay, my lemons are very juicy. This is from my tree outside. And I got some juicy lemons, all right? Don't mess around. I do not, I do not mess around with my lemons, you guys. There you go, that's in. Oh, and it just came out. Ready? Wait, why did everyone give it a bad review? It works. Oh, and it smells delicious. And it comes with a little thick. Mm, maybe it's just because I have really juicy lemons. Wait, I want to read the bad reviews. Why do people hate on this? It works. Maybe if you have a dry lemon, it doesn't work. But that's the lemon's fault, not the sprayers. Mine dripped more than it sprayed. Probably won't use very much, but it was fun to try. Don't waste your money. The name is perfect. It's a lemon. <gasps> oh, they got jokes with their thing. And then the other people didn't rate it. They didn't leave comments. Okay, so it is leaking. It definitely does leak. It works though. I'm gonna say, I think that this wasn't given a fair shake. I think like you need a juicy lemon. It needs to be big enough. And obviously you're not gonna get all of the juice out of it. But if like you just need a couple spritzes for some reason, this works. I'm gonna say I'm gonna give it three stars and not one. Wow. See, isn't life magical when you expect the worst and hope for the best? Because then when you get mediocre, you're excited about it. It's all about your viewpoint, guys. It's all about how you view the world. Next product. Why am I getting excited about this? Okay, next one is an egg yolk slash egg white separator. Crack the egg, you put it in here, and the yolk stays here, and the egg white strip down the bottom, so you have egg yolk and egg white, okay? That's what this is. Let's test it. Okay, I can't stand this. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need some emotional support, because I can't, I can't stand this. Love her to pieces. This is how girlfriend gets eggs out of a carton. With no rhyme or reason. Why, why is this, this is so uneven. Why would you? Like, that is how they should look. Or that. Or all in one row. Why is, why are they, why would you? I think that's just something I have to deal with myself. So chaotic. I don't know if there's rules to this, but I'm just going for it. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna let that drip. I got it on my counter, good. So, we've separated the yolk from the egg. We did it. What was the issue? It did exactly what it said it needed to. What was the issue? What was the reason? Why did you rate this terribly? It did exactly what it said it was gonna do. What's the problem? They didn't give reasons. It has two, two out of five stars. But the only people that wrote anything all gave it five stars. Everyone who gave it one star didn't leave a review as to why. They just said one star. This isn't getting a fair shake on the internet, people. This works. Egg white, yolk. Separated, conveniently. I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to do anything. Why are these products working? What is happening? All right, next product, next product. This is a hot dog slicer. Now, a lot of people out there like to cut their hot dogs in a twisty way, such as that, because apparently it makes your, your wiener taste better. So these are apparently supposed to cut them for you to make it a little easier. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cut up a wiener real quick. Lucky for you, I have some veggie wieners, which I am definitely down to eat right now, because why not? Just slide, pour, grill, and eat. Okay, here we go. We're 
Twirling, we're twirling. Are we do, my hot dog's falling apart. The hot dog's falling apart. Here we go. Okay, we have chunked out some of the hot dog by accident. It got real chunky. It got real chunky. I don't feel that that was very smooth. That wasn't a very smooth cut. Let's cook this. We're gonna just, cause I'm in a hurry. It says it lowers cooking time. So why not just do this? That is a pathetic looking hot dog. And I did not think that the grill time was cut in half. Also, the spiral things did not go very deep. I'm gonna say, I'm assuming this was rated correctly. Like probably two stars. My mom does the same thing with a butter knife. All right, let me see how many stars this got. Two and a half stars, rated 39 times. Yeah, no, does not work. Ruined a pound of hot dogs with this thing on top of that all with no instructions. Hot dog doesn't even fit in it. Don't bother. Doesn't cut well. Not worth buying. No Funciana. Worthless. Yeah, I'm gonna be, I think this one is true to its reviews. That's a no from me, dog. Good if it was a hot dog. Not product. The next one is these potato washing gloves. And I've slowly realized I hate the feel of those. But I don't have any potatoes. So what we're gonna do is scrub an apple. Cause I do have an apple. Okay, so you know how you're supposed to like scrub a potato before you like bake it or something? Cause science, cooking, health reasons. I already got my hair on it. Hold on, that's disgusting. You know what? We're gonna put my hair back. Speaking of hair, I'm at, who let me exist? Who decided to, I should do things? Okay, I literally have hair everywhere. How do you, how do I function? How, how did I get this far? Like, Where did this bruise come from? It doesn't hurt. Is it makeup? No, that's a bruise. Where, when did I get that? Let's scrub an apple. Okay, so this apple's kind of old, so it's trash anyway. And we're just gonna scrub it and see if I can feel that it's cleaner, okay? I mean, how are you supposed to know if it's if you're cleaning it? Kind of hard to use. I guess I'm, I can see that I'm getting bits off. If you like, look at that. There are some bits of the apple in there. I guess it works. I can't imagine it not. Yeah, that would work. I'm using it on my own skin. I mean, I think it's easier to just use like a scrub brush. Instead of like gloves, I mean, just like hold a potato with a scrub brush and go for it. I don't know why you need those. I can't, that's the thing. This was, this was stupid of me to test because I can't actually tell if it gets something cleaner than a scrub brush because I'm not a scientist. <laughs> but like, I didn't see any immediate flaws, but I also don't understand why you would need that as opposed to just like a normal potato brush or scrub brush or whatever. Or if you just like love rubber gloves, but like you lose grip on everything, those could work. So if that fits your lifestyle, go for it. Should we see what the comments said? 15 reviews, two and a half stars. You have to use considerable force for these, for peeling potatoes efficiently. Wait, these are supposed to peel potatoes? Stop it, stop. I thought you were just supposed to scrub a potato. These are not, no. There is no way these peel a potato. I thought it was just to clean a potato. Oh Lord, no. No, these do not peel anything. I just scrubbed an apple and none of it came off. Stop it. Yeah, it says wash the potatoes and carrots but never peel anything. Does not do what it's supposed to do. Crap. Okay, did not work at peeling potatoes. Okay, these are not potato peelers. I thought this was for washing your potatoes. Get rid of everything I said, this product is a less than a one star. And if they were just potato washing gloves, fine. This is their peeler, not a chance. Not a chance. Well, that one just sucked. That one sucked. Oh well, it did it, it sucked. Great, okay. That's gonna be the end. Let's go to the outro. <laughs> All right, that's it. Those were some of Amazon's worst rated kitchen products. I do have more, if you like this, I'll do a part two. Um, I have more things coming in the mail. Uh, why do they exist? I don't know. Why did I buy them? Cause I wanted to see how crappy they actually were. But like we, we test highly rated products and they still suck. So you never know. You never know. I love you guys though. Subscribe to see videos every Tuesday and Thursday on this channel. Like this video if you liked it. Make sure you check out my blog channel and my podcast channel. You all are beautiful. You're wonderful. Um, merch link below. And I might be having some flash merch happen soon. So watch out for that. All right. I love you. Beautiful. Bye.